Welcome, my name is Sebastian and today together with DOSBOX I'm casting a game of Black Toys who is Red Terra in the upper right corner and Green Zerg who is very difficult nickname uh, who is in on left side of the map. This map is Tau Cross. It's a three player map, probably everyone know it. As you can see our two players are talking in English about something. And DOSBOX, tell me something about these players. Hello and welcome guys. Uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about these players. Uh, actually, the player with a very difficult name, the Green Zerg, is actually uh, uh, by hero from the STX Soul team. And uh, he has many victories against uh, Boxer, uh, OV and uh, as well Biso. He has ridiculously high APM over 400 and uh, he's today against Black Toys. This is uh, actually an alias of uh, the very popular German player which is uh, Horror. Uh, from the MW, uh, I forgot the MTW team, yes. Uh, and he has also many victories. He has participated in the TSL2 and uh, in the WCG, of course. Uh, he got eliminated there by Noni, I think uh, 2009, but uh, I'm not very certain. These are excellent players, and uh, hopefully, they're going to give us a very nice uh, match. Oh, those box, tell me, how, how you, were you able to find this information about these players? Uh, actually, if, if you if you're not certain about the player, you basically search uh, the alias, uh, the current alias. For example, the player with the alias with the no sil uh, with the no vowels, <laughs> uh, Z uh, P R. <laughs> basically, you search the name and uh, then you find information. Uh, he's basically by hero. This is an alias of his. Uh, and the same thing for the other player, Black Toys is an alias of uh, horror. Everything available on Team Liquid and uh, replay sites as well. So this game is. You know, nowadays or is it old game from two thousand nine? I, th I, th I think this is from two thousand nine or two thousand ten. Uh, perhaps one year old game. Mm. Okay, and you think that this German player is still playing right now, or is he retired? Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure he has an IC Cup account right now, and uh, I'm pretty sure he plays. But uh, I'm not certain uh, that we may see by hero. Uh, pretty soon on IC Cup, but uh, yeah, he may be uh, over there with a different alias, you know, with a Korean uh, IP address, everything. Yeah, by hero is probably playing on, you know, Korean server right now, so... Yeah, uh, he's he's pretty good too, actually. His IPM is ridiculous. Uh, measurements show that actually he, he from time to time uh, reaches 500 APM. This is ridiculous IPM. Well, his general NPM of this game is 400, so... Yeah. Yeah. And right now, as we can see, Terran is getting a um, proxy factory in lower side of the map. So... And this factory is right next to um, Overlord, but I'm pretty sure that this Overlord can't see this uh, factory. So it's okay. It's very surprising uh, position for factory, I think. Yeah, this is a very surprising position. Uh, this overall placement right there is very good. He covers actually the, the, the couple of bridges uh, here on Tower Cross. A uh, lot of player, uh, players think this map is imbalanced, uh, but actually this is a very good map. It's a three-player map. And, uh, well, there are differences because uh, there, there isn't any symmetry on the map, uh, essentially. But actually this map is very good... Uh, for any any type of tactics, and actually, when you spawn in one of the locations, you actually uh, have to pre prepare a different strategy and uh, cover your bases with different uh, defensive structures and everything. Yes, this map was always very surprising for me because this map have literally no high ground. Only high ground this map have is these um, ramps over the natural base, but except these few two bay ramps, there is no high ground. Yeah. And yeah, games on this map is completely different uh, because of it. And also, mm, the size of bridges is a bit different. So yeah, uh, these are custom bridges. Uh, these are custom bridges uh, with a custom editor, and uh, uh, they, are, they are quite big, some of these bridges in the center of the map. Uh, actually, we see now some harassment by the uh, Terran, and uh, he's killing some drones. The Vulture ha already has took a couple of kills uh, in the Zerg base. And the, the, the drones are basically running away with no defense right there. Only a second in the natural. Yes, this Vulture have four kills, so it's quite nice. Oh, he was just <laughs> killed by drones. 
Oh, yeah. hero drones, hero drones. This little yeah. drone have like four life, but he was able to kill this vulture. So. Yeah, the, the, the hero spitting uh, deadly acid over the vulture. <laughs> and we see it actually the factory is now moving inside the main base of the Zerg player. This is a ridiculous strategy, I think. But it's going to be very surprising, uh, pretty sure that uh, my hero is not prepared for this. Yes, he's not only sending his factory to main base of Zerg, he's also harassing with refs at natural base of um, Zerg. So, as we can see, that Terran is going. Yeah, pretty aggressive, pretty a bit cheesy, I think. This um, is ex yeah, this is excellent play. Uh, the spire right f uh, right now finishes, but this is excellent play. Uh, proxy factory, it's a double rate attack. This is, uh, I think, uh, very innovative. Yes, but at the same time, turn have to um, deliver quite large uh, damage to you know to not be behind. Uh, yeah. So, but. Right now he's doing quite fine, he's killing some overlords, he's getting more drone skills. Um, we can see some mutalis from Zerg. Um, and yeah, Zerg is trying to stay alive right now. He has a lot of problems in, in his main base. He, 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 lost so so he lost so many drones in the main base by all these vultures and rights. Also he is losing a lot of mutas right there. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, lot of damage caused by horror, but you you need to continue with that uh, harassment until you you actually you, your all win uh, finishes and you actually defeat the Zerg. Because if he stabilizes, uh, he's going to ult macro essentially with a couple of base. Mm, yes. Oh, there is some revs is going down, so probably um, Zerg is, will be able to handle these problems right now attacks from um, Turan and Turan is getting some turrets in his base yeah so this is very wise this is very wise uh, but uh, actually I don't, don't think that uh, by hero right now has the economy to support that many mutants because uh, so many drones died to the vulture also we see another vulture in the base this is actually the same vulture with uh, four kills I think uh, he just got sniped by a couple of mutants right there uh, uh, very early overall speed I see right there, uh, finally the factory is going to be discovered and destroyed near the main base of the Zerg player. <laughs> yes, well apparently Zerg was so afraid that he would lose all of his overloads, he had to get this uh, speed. And he's still not mining from his main base, now he's sending some drones there, but yeah, well, Zerg is not in the best economical position and Terran is still attacking with his refs. Um, okay. Yeah. Raids, raids are very good against drones. Uh, uh, four raids basically snipe a drone very quickly, but uh, there are some units and uh, score try there to defend. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you look at the supply, uh, actually 32 supply for the Zerg player, uh, the, the turn is almost 50. Uh, he may supply up himself actually. But uh, the turn is definitely ahead in this situation, I must tell. Uh, also, he has an SCV in the bottom of the map, I'm not sure, and perhaps he's. Uh, Scouting for a ninja expansion by the Zerg player, but he does not the economy to support the units uh, an expansion right now. Yes, I'm also very surprised that Tran uh, didn't decide to get a um, cloak for his refs because he have a lot of them and yeah, it would be a bit more difficult for Zerg to deal with it. Another vulture inside of the main <laughs> Zerg base. Wow, this turn is super aggressive right now. Yeah, <laughs> for Horror is a very aggressive player, uh, very aggressive. And Terran is right now facing a um, turret next to natural base of Zerg in a very awkward position, but yeah, it would be great against these scourges. This is a strategic turret right there. He can yeah. uh, retreat very quickly with his raids. Uh, he can bring some SCVs, but the first SCV falls right there and the, perhaps the first turret will fall also. Uh, this is uh, this strategic location right there is going to fail. There are too many mutants and uh, a couple of uh, overworlds to defend uh, to provide vision. But I think uh, he didn't get the the cloak uh, because uh, he sold the uh, very fast uh, zero, uh, overall speed. I think uh, it might be the case, or perhaps he he got it for mines as well. He was going Hydra at one point. <laughs> I'm not certain. Yes, and well, Tran is getting. Some more barracks right now. I was actually expecting that he would get go mech at this point. 
but yeah, he's getting some barracks. And he's already trying to deliver some damage with his mutas, but there is enough of turrets to deal with these mutas easily. Um, Actually, actually, the, I think Horror is in a bit of trouble right now because uh, right now uh, Bike Hero stabilized it and uh, he is going to do some a lot of damage over the main base. Uh, with one base right now, Horror does not have the economy to support against uh, double base Zerk. His initial harassment was great, but uh, unless, like, I, like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the Zerk player stabilized. Uh, he now has a healthy amount of drones in his uh, natural and uh, He's also now saturated the main, which is still not very well saturated, but yeah, Horror might be in a bit of trouble. He needs to expand immediately and uh, prevent uh, expansions uh, from Zerk. Oh, I'm surprised because this all time I was expecting that um, Terran was able to deliver enough of damage to Zerk to not be uh, behind. But yeah, he's in a bit odd position. <laughs> he's lifting his <laughs> starport right now. Um, yeah. I think he might be getting a Valkyrie right there with this, this um, uh, control tower right there, and he might be transitioning to Valkyrie, uh, uh, Valkyrie Marine Bio. Uh, the mutants are going to be pretty useless against this, and uh, he's going to force perhaps the Zerg player to transition into workers after that. But uh, he's actually researching now Hydra. Uh, this was a Hydra range, I think. Yes. Uh, he, the Hydra is going to be also good against the Bio, but uh, he needs to pop a war of Hydras. Yes, and Terran is still not um, expanding, but I can see that he is um, putting down this, I um, mean, tearing down this supply that was uh, blocking his, um, his choke to his main base, and then Terran. Yeah. And, yeah. And. Yeah, and Zerg is getting some lurkers. So. Yeah, he needs to transition immediately to workers because he saw the transition from Terran. He has uh, three barracks right now, and uh, we also see uh, actually he's got in the science vessel. And uh, this uh, Zerg push uh, with, uh, with the what of Hydras will do some damage. Uh, we do some damage perhaps, but also there are mutants in the front. Uh, right now, uh, uh, Hero is uh, concentrating into. Perhaps killing the uh, Terran player completely. Uh, he has only one overworld. This is a not very good idea, but so there is so few raids to uh, to kill actually the, the overworld. Uh, the worker tech actually is not done yet, so there's not a problem. But uh, yeah, Horror manages to kill this uh, little push by the yeah. Korean player hero. Yes, well. Hydras will have a, a bit hard time against these um, trans, but soon we'll have some lurkers and it's yeah. big enough. Um, <laughs> Terrible <trans> damage. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> damage. <laughs> yes, yes. And Terran is getting command centers of you expand. Um, <laughs> Zerg is flying around with his overlords or over the map, he's getting some upgrades. And Terran is attacking. Yeah, yeah, he's attacking. This is a nice force, but uh, you see there are fi five workers morphing on the bridge, uh, next to the bridge, and uh, they're going to be actually not in time. He counsels the workers, and uh, yeah, this uh, attack with the science vessel is going to be very good against uh, what the Zerg has, has currently. The worker tech was very delayed. I think perhaps he needed to delay a bit the range and uh, get the worker immediately after he saw the bio transition from the turn. Uh, the mutant, no mutants on the map currently, but uh, so many uh, uh, hydras and perhaps some, li some a bit of a little bit of scorch for the science vessel. And he's making a, a small drop. This is great. I love uh, drop play by the turn. He's going to stop at least four, uh, five drones right there with uh, the stem. But uh, yeah, uh, actually, hero needs to respond immediately to this. But uh, yeah, uh, actually, horror is. Uh, uh, kind of involving a lot of units into this drop. Let's see what's happened. Yeah, but there are already some lurkers out. This science vessel is in a bit awkward position because he can't get any vision from it. Um, yeah, and trying, trying to get some damage, but I'm pretty sure that this army is going down to these lurkers. Yeah, he, he delayed the, the drop a lot. He needed to push with the four marines and uh, 